Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Android 9.0 UI Pi Beta 2 for our Galaxy S8 and the Galaxy S8 Plus. So without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, let's start directly with the installation. So for the installation, like this is the TLRP installation method to install the Pi Beta 2. So we need to boot into TLRP recovery mode and yes, you need TLRP recovery mode on your Galaxy S8 or Galaxy S8 Plus. So press the volume up, uh, pick speed and the power button boot your device into uh, and this is the galaxy s9 boot logo as you can see this is my galaxy s8 you can see the camera and this so yeah it's not my galaxy s9 so don't worry i'm not fooling you guys so okay so first of all you will need to back up everything like i have backed up and then you can see this is my backup and let me also dim the brightness a bit okay it's good i'm going to wipe go to advanced wipe dialog system data cache yeah that's it like we don't have trouble so no need to wipe vendor and stuff then getting back going to install and you can see i have it downloaded that's the light roms the first uh, version and it's based on the android uh, sorry android 9 dot pi one ui beta 2 for the galaxy set so you're gonna flash this and you can see it opens uh, so a variety of options you can choose upon and that's the best thing i like about custom roms rather than the stock rom like i'm showing you the uh, custom ROM installation to install Pi Beta 2 and yes it is also officially been pushed but only for the beta members so you can see you can choose Samsung apps so whatever you need you can choose here and whatever you don't need you like don't want to choose so yeah next you can see install stock camera the modded like no camera so I will choose stock camera in sound mods I will choose the stock sound I will choose Samsung keyboard Samsung dialer Samsung messages and you can see also I will choose the Samsung TouchWiz launcher. You can see I will choose this kernel and you have to choose this or even flash your kernel later. Choose the no kernel or like just boot it with it. Then you can see you also get the Magisk root. So if you want to root, you can root the device through Magisk. And as, as already Super SU is dead, so there will be only Magisk option. So as you can see the installation has been started. So let's wait for this to be end. So guys the ROM has been successfully flashed, just click next, reboot now, uh, I just want to show you that TLRP, so you can see this is, uh, okay, I guess it automatically rebooted because I chose the option, okay, it's in recovery, so you can see it's finished, done, so now just reboot system, if you want to flash anything else, like there is nothing else to flash, like magic is already done, so yeah, as you can see it's booting out, and sorry for this, like, like you guys may get mislead but yeah it's still my galaxy s8 it's not my galaxy s9 so yeah samsung so let this device boot then i will go through some like and talk about s s8 pi beta 2 features and let's like see if something has been changed like i'm trying this for the second time first time i tried i used it for two days but got back to pi beta 1 as most of my data was there like apps and also yeah Let's continue after this device boot. So guys, just quickly set up the device and not the Google account actually because I have Pi Beta 1 uh, backup. Then into about phone, you can see into software info, one UI Android version 9. Yeah, you can see my baseband version is still crap. Like I haven't updated the official firmware since days, like year. You can see build number, no need to developer mode has been enabled. So yeah, this is the build number and here it should be like zsc version the build number but it's light from so like the developer has been editor you can see one general security batch it's like obviously it's january so january security batch and you can see here into about phone galaxy set exynos and my model number g950 f so yeah this is the galaxy set itself so software info yeah i already showed you so let's take a look at what's changed like nothing so box fixes have been done that's really awesome and i will show you the full change log also so yeah this is the uh, display uh, option and this is the advanced features so yeah like don't expect something uh, like in every beta update from samsung like it's uh, doing this from like oreo no get like every time we don't get anything extra something that is really awesome and that so yeah everything is same notification sounds and wallpapers like same like they don't change the stuff so let's take a look at the change log now keeping the galaxy safe like the change log is in my 
that device so you can see the bug uh, software update and uh, you can see camera app gets forced close and screen stops when you use a slow motion or super slow motion so let's test some of the things like one or two things i don't uh, now i'm to like like spread the video so you can see super slow motion touch responsiveness is good so you can see it's recording super slow okay it is saving good so yeah then slow motion and it says slow motion freezes so it's not freezing well now like it's just five to six seconds <laughs> i'm just judging it so yeah let's like move like this keep quiet that's not how slow motion is done okay so the screen is not freezing anything is not doing the slow motion is doing great happy labs other modes are really fine like from the beginning only so let's check some more stuff location tag error camera preview screen appears blur and when touch the screen there is no response so into photo mode it is good also into selfie mode it is good so yeah you can see i can touch click click pictures yeah it's good it's not bad so yeah recently downloaded music appears so, yeah that is fixed can save to sd card by the samsung internet files yeah that is also fixed unknown file appears so there's no unknown file i've checked so yeah i've checked some of these and that is also fixed so everything is fixed here anr occurs when switch to selfie in panorama okay so into we are going to panorama mode and let's switch to selfie and no there is okay let's go here like there is no panorama mode so yeah there is no difficulties here into the panorama mode like again we are going to panorama mode switching into selfie so no not responding uh, dialogue is there so yeah it responds well and there is not issue no issue some devices are forced to reboot due to mall function of people edge functionality okay so this rom has edge screen totally removed so if you want to see edge screen and that like there is no functionality in edge screen it's the same so you can take a look at this uh, pi beta one review here like the installation review okay, okay and it is also telling you to turn off the people edge function so get it setting the display so yeah that's it like there is nothing else uh, like been updated here some improvements have been done of course over the code like it's been improved and yeah i guess those who guys have not installed the pi beta 1 like can directly go through pi beta 2 and those who are on the pi beta 1 like no need to do yeah no need to move your data here yeah, this is not a like thing for you like if you are some like camera functions of force closing or something like that then you should like definitely move because this has fixed the camera totally and we will see in the pi beta 3 also what changes will be done so yeah i'm waiting for pi beta 3 and sorry for this late video about the pi beta 2 i was really sick so couldn't make a video and bye bye guys uh, that's it for the video i already showed you the uh, what uh, installation and yeah that's it uh, nothing else Bye bye I'll see you guys in the next video till then bye bye